Today we're testing the Ublox F9 technology live, in a test drive. In this car, we have the multi-band high precision GNSS receiver installed, and we're using U-Center to show the positioning performance. We now stand still in the parking lot. In the deviation map, you see the position output as green dots. The outer circle has a radius of 20 centimeters, and the most inner circle has a radius of 2.5 centimeters. So our car remains still and the position isn't drifting. Now we're driving in multiple circles and on the deviation map, you see the position output creating a smooth spread. The upper right corner displays the visible satellites. The lower box shows data including the 3D and 2D accuracy, which are showing of about one centimeter. And down below, you see the multiple bands or frequencies that are used. Now we've completed several circles and on the map, the position output overlay very nicely. The slight deviation of the points most likely are related to the slight slope of our parking lot. After completing circles in the other direction, there is a tight overlay of position output showcasing the high precision of the receiver with a high repeatability. Now we drive onto the highway to show how the Ublox F9 technology acts when we go under an overpass where GNSS signals are temporarily weakened. So the Ublox F9 receiver is a combination of technologies that include multi-GNSS, multi-band, and an option of dead reckoning plus high precision techniques to enable centimeter level positioning in different environments. These blue dots show our position output on the bird eye view map. As we approach the overpass, we see on the right middle box that the position is fixed and while going under the overpass, it switches to standard GNSS and then it recovers to float within a second or two and then changes to fixed. So we have a convergence time of within seconds. That's all for today. Check out the Ublox website to learn more.